How to Help Children Presents Tips for Taming Toddler Tantrums. Young parents get scared when they hear stories about the terrible twos. Take courage, you will survive the toddler stage. Why does your toddler throw tantrums at such a young age? Well, a child is consumed with thoughts of themselves. Everything is about them and how they feel. Until they are taught how to share, every toy or piece of food they see automatically belongs to them. Toddler temper tantrums can have a variety of effects. Your first thought might be that everyone is focused on you and your screaming child. But getting embarrassed won't diffuse the situation. Besides, as a parent, you have many more years of embarrassing situations to look forward to, courtesy of your children. So worrying about what others think during this situation is simply going to stress you and make you feel worse. Here are a few tips to help you cope during tantrums. Ignore the tantrum. Now this technique works best when you're at home. In public places, you don't want to ever leave your child unattended as a form of punishment. If you want your toddler to be well behaved in public, then you have to start at home. Ignoring a toddler is not harsh. If your child is squirming on the floor, screaming for a cookie, continue to talk to them as if you'd never noticed. Eventually, they'll get the hint and stop screaming. This is a big one. Avoid instant gratification. In public, toddlers throw tantrums when they are denied something that they want. Some parents give in to keep their child quiet, but a child learns very quickly, and tantrums will continue if they know that you will cave. Simply tell them no and keep moving. Don't get angry. When you scream and they scream and the situation is wildly out of control, you'll end up crying and your toddler will still be screaming. In any situation, raised voices mean civilised conversation has ended. Keep using the same calm voice you use when they are behaving to get your child to calm down as well. Praise your toddler when they behave well. Positive reinforcement is much better than negative reinforcement. In the absence of positive attention, some children will behave badly just to get some attention at all. Acting out and throwing tantrums may be a cry for attention. Don't let it get to this point. Clap and celebrate when they go to the potty successfully or they put away their toys. And make sure when they use good manners, for example, saying please and thank you, that you give them a smile and a hand clap as well. Run errands after nap time. Kids get agitated when they get tired. A toddler misbehaves more often if they are taken out when they are tired. Carry snacks with you. Low blood sugar can lead to tantrums. If you are out longer than anticipated and lunch or dinner time is close at hand, let them eat a healthy snack to keep their hunger pains at bay and sugar levels stable. Be consistent in your punishment. At home, you might use time out to deal with a tantrum for behaving badly. In public, do the same. Sit your child on a bench for five minutes or take them to the car. Eventually, they will learn that you are not a pushover and they will begin to behave. You will survive the toddler years. Nip temper tantrums in the bud with these, hit, these handy tips. We'd like you to visit our website for loads of great parenting advice, schoolwork and homework help, personal and social skill development for your child, guitar lessons, kids cooking, and information on how to teach toddlers and babies. howtohelpchildren.com